I'm Sophie White. I guess I'd call myself a multidisciplinary artist. I work across many different disciplines, so that's probably the best term. I make jewellery predominantly, but I also paint and I take photographs and I make sculptures and installations. I even write poetry. Um, I guess in my mind they all are intertwined and they create one whole world or something like that. I suppose across all of the mediums there is a focus on shape, um, often like simplifying a scene so that you're taking the basic geometric shapes and that's especially obvious in the jewellery. The jewellery is very geometric and minimal. Originally it grew out of the interest in sacred geometry. So like the idea that if you zoom in close enough onto everything then it's all kind of made out of the same matter. So in that way I see my jewellery as quite organic. However, to most eyes it would look quite different to that in that it's geometric. With the paintings they're directly influenced by the photographs. The photos I'm finding usually are geometric compositions out in real life. And then the paintings, I'll take some shapes or colours that I've found out in the world and that in that way the paintings are directly influenced by the photos. And in some ways the sculptures too. I have so many different things. Often people find me through my jewellery. So if they were interested in my jewellery then I'd show them my most recent piece of jewellery because I guess every time I'm making a piece it's getting better and my skills are getting better and the pieces are getting crazier so I'm like look at this crazy new thing whereas if they found me through my photos I might show them something else I might show them my favourite selection of photos or I might show them um, paintings that have been inspired from the photos or even more recently I've been beginning to think about making time-lapse videos, so I might show them how it's beginning to progress into something else. I don't know if this is common with artists, but it always feels like whenever you have a project, you're kind of getting closer to the, to the thing, whatever this mysterious thing is that we're all working towards. So I, so I suppose, bearing that in mind, it would always be the thing I just did, because it would be the closest thing to the essence that I'm trying to find. Yeah. I've been in this studio for four years now. It's been really lovely. Um, but in the past couple of years, I've not been around very much. I had an art residency in Portugal last year for three months, which was amazing. I made lots of art. I was very much away from the jewellery and very much focusing on what my art was, allowing that space for figuring out what I was doing. So. There's some themes in the work that I've been thinking about for ages, but having like a solid chunk of time to do that was really amazing. In, my, in all of my work, it's quite inspired by the way that light and time influences the environment. So it was really amazing to have time, to have time to work with time, to have the time to work with time um, whilst I was there. Um, I definitely learnt more about what I want to be doing with my work. I used sunlight and water a lot and trying to get those natural elements to play with the sculpture or the installation. That was really nice. Um, and then this past year I've been in France for almost seven months, um, completely away from all of my practice. I suppose I approached it that I'm away from my practice and we'll just see if what if I want to start doing anything but I don't have to do anything I had no obligations so um, I quite like allowing myself those spaces where I don't not why I ever really feel like I have to do stuff but if you're in the studio like it's always like the jewelry sat there looking at you or the paintings are sat there looking at you but if you're completely away from it all then and then you do make something I guess it comes from a different place. I don't know if it's a more authentic place, but I was exploring that. It's f quite funny being a multidisciplinary artist because it feels like you dip 
your toes in all the different things, but you're not like an expert at anything. So for instance, recently I've realized how happy I am with my photographs and how much I think that that is, because before I'd think of it as like a preliminary practice before making the paintings or before making the sculpture, whereas now I think of it as the practice. So accepting that that is what I'm, that's like the end product in a way. Therefore I can like present them to people as this, this is a piece, this is a pho pho photographic piece. Um, so for instance, I'm gonna try making some prints and see if anybody's interested because it feels very different to be selling like a piece of paper I'm very used to selling jewellery which has inherent value in the silver and the gold. So make, selling a piece of paper is a bit like, yeah, I guess it puts more emphasis on the work than the materials. But in terms of when I know if something's finished or not, or ready to, to be seen by other people, you can just tell, you can just feel. So I, sometimes I look at a painting and I paint and I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's not quite, it's not quite there, I'm not quite happy with it. And then one day you're like, oh yeah, no, that's it, it's done. But it's very, you can just feel it when it's the case.